Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is Captain Cowboy with your boy Swag in the building. Yep. The MC Hammer. So, tonight we're going to be talking about Iron Throne Beginner's Guide Part 10 of the mini series. And we just talked about equipment earlier. And now we're going to be going ahead and we're going to be talking about how to craft. Um, so, let's go ahead and open up our forge. So, Swag gets very upset at me because I like to utilize the set codex to get into my crafting. Whereas he likes to utilize the craft. You ask what's the difference? There is absolutely zero difference besides what you're looking at. I like set codex. That's just me. I'm used to set codex, so I don't know any other way now. So let's go ahead and look at some of our pieces of gear. I don't know if I can actually craft anything. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. Let's just look up this. Nope, can't do that. I'm all crafted out. Nope, can't do that. Oh, maybe we can. No, we can't. I lied. Can we do Berserker at least? We can do Berserker. Sweet. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So, let me show you the basics to crafting new gear and then enhancing. So, we're looking here at our helmet. We have three pieces of materials. When we go to our armor, I'm switching back and forth now. They have the exact same materials. When I go to my weapon now, two of the materials have changed, but this last material has not changed. When we go to the ring, we will notice again three materials have changed, but the ring has not changed. What is this? What does this mean? How does this impact my life? What does this mean for my loved ones? How am I going to react to having mesothelioma, frick, mesothelioma, whatever, how, however you pronounce it? This is our rare material here on the right. Rare material is known as the rare material because one, it is utilized in all five pieces of the gear. So it's used more, which means that it's rare because you need a lot of it, but you can only obtain it at the same rate, but it's actually you obtain it at a lesser rate than you obtain the other materials. Now you'll notice I have it all the way up at Epic. So let me go ahead and show you this next mechanic. This next mechanic is our combined material. So when you'll see that we have all these change buttons. You click on a change button, and then we're going to want to click combine. When you click combine, go to the lowest rarity right here, and we're going to click group combine. And we're going to bring them all the way up to level 6 at that immortal rate. It's going to automatically give us as many immortal pieces as possible. Now, if you notice, we still have the sprout ring at epic. Now, the reason we do this is because... If you break it down, let me go ahead and show you. I'm just going to bring this up to uh, uh, Immortal for a second. We have the Combine and the Dismantle function. So if we're at the Dismantle function, and we break this up from Immortal to Epic, we are sacrificing a 20% chance of crafting an accessory piece at Immortal in order to obtain three additional chances of crafting that material. So again, let me explain this. You want to leave your rare material in Epic. This is the rare material. It's utilized a lot more. You need to have more opportunities to craft because you will have a lot more of these common materials to craft. So we're taking a lesser chance of actually succeeding in our craft. So we're actually having the chance of failing. And I always say only craft at Immortal. But you only want to craft at Immortal with a high probability of succeeding the craft. But you're giving yourself more opportunities to craft. So let's say I fail. Well, if I fail, then I can utilize that epic piece on a deputy, on my secondary hero, because only a percentage of their stats will uh, count. But if I have more than one set of that epic material, then I can then utilize that um, epic and just sell it and get more silver back, because we really only want immortal. So we'll go ahead and we'll craft. We have an 80% chance because we have three at immortal. And we have one at Epic. So we're going to go ahead and craft. I'm just going to speed this up so we can see it. And we succeeded with our craft. Now we won't always succeed with our craft. So let me go ahead and show you with our Berserker armor. So our Berserker armor only has three pieces. When you have two pieces at Immortal, you have a 66% at Immortal. And you have 33% at Epic, but to keep that simple, they they changed it to be 60% and 40%. So we have a we have a 40% chance of failing because now one in three of our materials is at Epic. Now you 
still have a higher probability of succeeding in the craft, but there is still that chance that you might fail the craft. And look, we succeeded in our craft. But by doing this, I gave myself three additional opportunities. So now that I succeeded, let's go ahead and craft it three more times. Let's see how we can actually fare with these, you know, all four crafts. So now I, I crafted two. I actually crafted the wrong piece. So it, it doesn't really matter. It automatically resets. You just need to be more careful than I am. But let's go ahead and see out of the four pieces we already crafted two. So now we failed one. I had one opportunity of succeeding, but I changed that in order to have four total opportunities, and I succeeded on two of those opportunities. Because I succeeded on two of the opportunities, it was worth it. Even though I failed one, it was still worth it because I was able to succeed in one opportunity. Now, I do this with my level 30 gear. I do with my level 40 gear, too. I will not do this with my economy gear. And I will not do this with my Dark Lord gear because those gears you really only want it at Immortal. If I were to fail there, the extreme cost of upgrading it is not worth it. Because if I were to fail and want to upgrade my gear to level to Immortal, when we're talking in, uh, level 30 and 40 gear, you're going to start utilizing materials and it's going to cost a lot to be able to bring one piece that is already crafted at Epic up to Immortal. And it simply is not worth it. It's about a 140% increase. So let's go ahead and just craft again. We're gonna, you know, we're just gonna keep trying. We're just gonna keep seeing how we fare. And out of all four opportunities that we gave ourselves, we succeeded on three opportunities. We had a 75% chance of success when we were only prob no predicted to have a 60%. That's why I do 60, 40, 80, 20. So there's 80, 20 on our accessory and 60, 40 elsewhere. So right here, I do not have 60-40. I am not ready to craft. However, I didn't go ahead and I did not combine. So now we can go ahead and combine. And now I have the opportunity to craft. So you always want to check to make sure that you have the op uh, opportunity to craft. And now notice, I have 13 of these pieces at Immortal. That's why I go ahead and bring these down to Epic because I'm giving myself more opportunities to utilize these common materials in exchange for a le lesser probability of succeeding. Now this is how I craft equipment. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some of our equipment and take a look at how we want to go ahead and go about enhancing. Um, I don't know if do I have any more pieces. No, I have one piece there. Okay, perfect. So we have a destroyer crossbow here and we have an additional destroyer, destroyer crossbow. Now, when we were to go to upgrade, each different level, it gives you a stat per, uh, percentage increase. It gives you a 10% increase on your basic uh, attack that it gives you up until level 10. After level 10, it gives you a 20%, but it also doubles the cost to enhance. So if you think about it, realistically, there are 20 levels of enhancement, but it only tells you that there's 15, but level 11 through 15 costs double. So it costs, tw you would need 21 full scrolls in order to get a, um, of each piece, in order to get a plus 15 uh, item. But each individual piece is going to increase it 10%. So if you are increasing, you know, 20, well, that's a 200% increase in your base stat. So let's go ahead and enhance. We're utilizing a little bit of silver and our scroll, and we're going to go ahead and get a base stat increase. Enhance. And haunts. And haunts. Nah. I don't know how to zoom in. This button looks right. Ah, ah. Nope, doesn't work. Alright, but yeah, so back to, you know, a little more common terms, okay? So, we want to go ahead and craft at that 60% chance of it crafting at Immortal and a 40% chance of crafting at Epic. This will give us the best opportunity to succeed in our craft and get an immortal piece. Gives us more opportunities to do so. On the accessory piece, we will have an 80% chance of crafting at immortal and a 20% chance at crafting at epic. This is how you want all of your gear to look like. You want to combine all your materials until you see that. And if you do not have that, do not craft. After you craft, then you want to go ahead and either equip the gear or enhance your gear. Remember, you're going to have two heroes that you can put together so keep that in mind, because you're going to have to have two full sets of gear. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is the Iron Throne Beginner's Guide mini series. Chem Cowboy and your boy King Swag here. And if you want to get in the play play test, go ahead and give me a message in the DMs, and I can set you up into our play test. And also, with that, don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with all the latest videos. This is Chem Cowboy. Thank you all for watching.